What's up all? Sween Hollick here, all revved up and roaring for another round of Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk, and I hope you are too. As anybody who has ever driven a car can tell you, the road is not always a very safe place. But it's extra worrisome when the world's worst walk-in kitchen utensil goes wild with his wheels. If you ever check your rear view and see Shredder on your tail, you'd probably better politely pull over. Otherwise, you may be facing the fury of the Foot Clan Fugleman's favorite form of transport, the Foot Cruiser. I'll make no bones about it, I love the Foot Cruiser. It was released in 1989 as a Foot Clan foil to the Turtles Party Wagon, and resembles an old Cadillac Eldorado convertible, although I'm not even sort of an auto expert, so I have no idea about years or other such details. While cars can't exactly have bios per se, the Foot Cruiser box has an in-depth description of how a stolen neutrino car came into the hands of the foot, as well as a list of all the specs on Saki's six set of wheels. Were it not for the two turtle-seeking antennas with the pendants reading Shell Crusher and Turtle Killer, the Foot Cruiser could easily be mistaken for any regular ride at a distance. Upon closer inspection, though, dead giveaways like the turtle leather steering wheel or the official foot hubcaps make it clear whose float you're fooling with. The Foot Cruiser's black and purple disgusting ooze flame graphics are totally tailored to Shredder's twisted tastes. At the front of the car you have the ooze blasters, which don't actually blast, turtle eliminators, and metalized turtle munching grill and bumpers, all ready to make some reptile roadkill. Towards the back, the Foot Cruiser has a retro mutagen containment tank which, via your imagination, connects to the ooze blasters up front, as well as shell piercing rear fins. The Foot Cruiser's interior is as awesome as the exterior. I already mentioned the turtle leather steering wheel, but there's also a turtle tracking radar above the radio, and even a car phone between the seats. Can you imagine that? A phone you can talk on in your car? The future is now, friends. At a glance, the car is just a two-seater, making you able to fit many different pairs of bad guy buddies into it to go on reprobate road trips. But the Foot Cruiser is capable of carrying a lot more crooked cargo than that. There are running boards on each side, enabling another few foot members to ride along. It's fun for displaying, but kind of awkward for playing. The slickest seat in the car, though, is the foot turret weapons pod. Pull up the retractable cover, and out it comes, complete with toe jam and rotate gatling gun, and two detachable iSpy missiles. You can fit most figures into the seat of the weapons pod, which can rotate 360 degrees. The Gatling gun does spin, and while the iSpy missiles don't have a firing mechanism, they do detach and seek to destroy the dudes in green. As if all of that isn't enough, there's still more to the Foot Cruiser. Once Shredder has run out of road to ravage and wreak havoc on, he and his rad Rizzy can take to the sky. Take a look at the Foot Cruiser's undercarriage. There's the outline of where the tanks and ammo storage would be on some of the non-functional weapons. But more importantly, here's where the magic happens. Rotate each of the four wheels inwards until the hubcaps are facing the ground. Then, press each button directly above each of the front two wheels to make the shell scratch and skirts pop down. Dudes and dudettes, you are now flying Air Shredder. Obviously, I have a place in my heart for all retro turtle toys, but the Foot Cruiser is one of my absolute favorite vehicles ever in TMNT and in Toydom as a whole. What's your take on it? Killer conveyance or heinous hoopty rig? Well, whether you think it's a beauty or a beater, I want to hear all about it. If you have not already, join the forums at www.popculturenetwork.com right now, where you can share your thoughts with me and plenty of other Turtle fans just aching to make your acquaintance. Besides TMNT, 
Pop Culture Network is home to all sorts of rad material covering other toys, wrestling, comics, video games, and everything else you know and love. Also, next time you're in the mood to beef up your boss collections, beat feet to the Pop Culture Network store where you'll find lots of loot to load up on. Visit www.radicalretro.com to view past episodes and race back in a week for a new episode of Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. But for right now, it's time to roll on out. Stay rad, everyone.